I'm back today to tell you all about my Elf 100 piece eyeshadow kit. Now, I did say um, in a, few, a few days ago that I would be doing a review on this. However, I, I wanted to have actually been able to use it before I, you know, had anything to say about it. Now, I like this because you can see a good selection of the colours through the top of the case. It is a hard case, so it's pretty well protected. Then, the only thing is you have to put it down to open it, because I always feel that I'm going to end up just like, bleh, and it slips out of my hands and falls all over the place, and then that would be a disaster for because it would break. Anyway, so here is what you actually get in... Da -da -da. Now, a lot of the time, I actually find that right now I'm using another e.l.f. product for my eyes. I've not got any makeup on today because oh, I'm just having one of them days. Um, however, when I do, do when I do apply my makeup, I at the moment I'm using the hold on two seconds so I find it. Well, here's one of them, the e.l.f. primer eyeshadows, and the they actually are eyeshadow as well as a primer. However, I do have the primer for eyeshadow palette. Um, however, I have taken time to use this before I had anything to say about it because I, I am a strong believer of actually using something without before I start rambling off one, on one of my spiels. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it has a little bit of fallout. Um, so, yeah, I mean, at the moment I've used a few of the nudes and things. I used some of the corals down... Oh, down here, or oranges, or well, they look coral in real life, but on my camera they're appearing orange half the time. Um, I have tried out the blues as well as some of the, the darker greys and things like that. At the moment I use in here for lightening up the ball of my cheeks, which I know it's not the conventional way of using eyeshadow, however I, I like it, it works. Sorry, I'm just, my dog is running about behind me. Um, I, I like this palette because you you get the full range of colours. You know, you've got your white and you've got your black. You've then got pretty much every colour in between. You've got a good selection of nudes, which I like because I like to use nudes in different ways so that, you you know, you can, you can lighten up tiny little bits but still keep it with a full nude colour. You also have purples, corals. You've got the full blue and teal collection. You've even got dark greens and things like that for... I don't know. Camouflage eyes. Um, so yeah, I really like that. Um, I also like the fact that you get well on the. I didn't actually notice. I watched some of the Elf videos before. Henry, go. Away. <laughs> I I swear the camera comes out and so does the dog. Um, I watched the Elf video on the hundred piece before I bought it because I was looking for a good eyeshadow palette. It wasn't going to cost me too much and it was going to last me quite a long time. Now, I watched their video on this and I didn't notice that it came with a mirror. I thought that this black bit on the front of there was just I don't know, a black panel. But I was quite pleasantly surprised when it came through and not only did it have a mirror, but it also had the two tiny little makeup brushes in here. The two little... Oh. Oh well, it opens better now. Um, yeah, it must have not clicked open properly. So, the the eyeshadows, I, I find that they're very well pigmented and whilst a lot of the nudes and things are exactly what they say they are nude, they're quite hard to explain. But a lot of things like, I will just test one out for you, say this bright blue. You can see it's very opaque. It does exactly what you want it to and now it's smeared all over my arm. Great. <laughs> um, yeah, so they are very opaque and whilst I use them at the moment with the primer, however, if you, I've also tried them without the primer, you do get a little bit more, well, a lot more fallout. However, they are still opaque enough to use without a primer. So if you don't have one, then this would still be great for you. Um, I like this because it sits nicely on my desk and it looks 
so pretty even when it's closed now I know it's a little bit it's probably not going to be ideal for popping it in your handbag and taking out with you or anything like that because it is a rather large palette which is the only downside I can see other than you know you could get the the pigment eyeshadows from e.l.f. or the baked which you could just pop in your handbag and off you go um, that would make it a lot easier however for I, I bought this for £15 now that, that that doesn't include postage because I bought other things with it and I got a larger order I got free postage but if you were just looking to buy this it'd be £15 and then £2.95 delivery I'm sure and for the amount of eyeshadows you get and the quality of them plus the hard back case and things I would really really recommend this um, I'll just try out another couple of colours for you here. I mean, that was just with my finger that I showed you. However, here's an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. If I was to apply, like, what's the most radical colour I can find? Bright orange. Let's see bright orange. You can see that without primer, it goes on nicely. Doesn't give you too much fallout. I'm just going to put this all over my eye, just so you can see. Not that I would actually wear bright orange eyeshadow like this, but some people might. You never know. So you can see here that it is a really, really bright eyeshadow. And that's just with a tiny little bit of work. It's not with any blending or, like, amazing work or anything like that. Um, let's see. Let's try a green on the other eye. I don't know. You can see here that that is just a shocking amount of colour in just a tiny little bit of work. I mean, it's just literally brushing it on and that's with no primer at all. Now, obviously I'm not gonna go out with an orange and a green eye, but this is just to show you that the, the palette, it works in so many ways. I mean, you could use different colours and things. They suggest, oh, sorry, a little bit of fallout. They suggest that you pick three colours, like, or two colours, if you're going to be doing any, well, not these two, obviously. <laughs> but you could go for, say, a light nude and a dark nude, so that then you can blend them in and make a really nice look with it. And, yeah, I am i can't stop staring at myself in the mirror now because, you know. So <laughs> I'm just going to wipe this off. Um... But that, that really does show you that these eyeshadows, and also it shows you here that they are very easy to remove. They don't smear all over your face or anything like that. Um, and I really like them, especially for the fact that you get 100 of them. Well, 100 little colours um, for £15. So that's like 15p an eyeshadow. You can't fault that. You just can't. See, that's off gone. Let's try another couple just to, for argument's sake, let's go with mm, brown. Um, well, also in this palette you get lots of different effects. You have um, matte eyeshadows, you have shimmers, you have blocks, you have pretty much everything. And I like that because sometimes you just want a different look. And see here's brown. You can see that just one coat of just brushing on, no blending whatsoever. Fair enough, it's not the neatest of work I could have possibly done. Um, but you can see here that it does you it does a lot for you, and that's just a tiny little bit of eyeshadow. You don't need masses of it because it is a really pigmented eyeshadow, which is a great thing. Um, and let's go for pink just because do, 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 do. okay mm. see this one's needing a little bit more work but even so it's still shockingly pigmented I mean I bought this on a whim actually I'll admit it I bought it on a whim I probably didn't need to buy it but now that I've got it, it's my go-to palette now. I mean, I have other palettes. I've got two... I don't even know what they're called. I've got a 
um, which are all the neon colours and things. I've got MUA, I've got W7, I've got loads of different eyeshadow. But this I now pick every time. Just to, you know. Um, it's that, and this is all without primer. I didn't prime my eyes in any way possible. I actually washed my face and then started videoing. So you can see that this eyeshadow, it does a lot for you. Um, and it's definitely worth the money. I would totally, if if anything happened to this palette, I'd, I would buy another one in a heartbeat. Just saying. So um, I will link down below and link you to the eyeslipsface.co.uk website and I hope you like this video if you did give me a thumbs up even with my radical eyes <laughs> and I will speak to you all soon bye